Hi guys, today I'm going to show you some tips for writing a research paper with Google Docs. So, first of all, my favorite tip in Google Docs is to do all of your research from within your document. So, here is my sample research paper about Vincent Van Gogh. So, uh, in order to find information on him, I can click on Tools, and then Research, and open the Research pane. So, I can actually do searches here for information about him. Okay, so the Research pane is really cool you can uh, scroll down and see lots of resources. So maybe I found a resource I wanted to use, like this biography.com website. Now, if I wanted to uh, cite information from this article in my paper, there is a cite button in the research pane, but watch what happens if I use that button. So maybe I learned about his, um, his family life from this website, so I would click here because I wanted to cite that. Okay, when I click cite, it's going to insert a footnote. So if in your class you're not inserting footnotes, um, you might need to add like a bibliography page or a works cited page. I have an option for you as well. If you're good with footnotes, then by all means, do your research in the research pane and click cite and it will drop in your footnotes. Now, if you're working in a different style like MLA or APA, you can click on this little drop down and choose MLA, APA, or Chicago. So that's really nice. Okay, so maybe I don't want a footnote. I want an actual works cited or bibliography page. Let me delete this footnote. Okay, that's deleted. I'm going to close the research pane. The tool that I use to make bibliographies automatically in Google Docs is called EasyBib. It's an add-on. So an add-on is basically like an app that runs inside of your document. It's really cool. To get them, click on Add-ons and then go down to Get Add-ons. And the add-on gallery will open, and you can look at all the options there. Uh, in my case, EasyBib popped up first. If it doesn't, you can always search for it here. I've already added it, so this button says Manage for me. If I had never added it, you would see a blue free button like you see right there. So click the plus button to add that add-on into your Google Docs. I'm going to close the gallery. Uh, to run EasyBib, all you have to do is click on Add-ons. After it's installed, you're going to have an option that says EasyBib Bibliography Creator. And then you're going to choose Manage Bibliography. Okay, so I'm making my Works Cited page after I'm done with my research. So as I've been researching, I've been collecting all of the links that I've been using. And in this case, I'm just going to show you research from web sources. Okay, that's important to note. So as you're reading and searching, keep all of the links from your web pages. So what I like to do is I can just show you really quickly is when I'm reading a website and I like it and I want to keep it, all I have to do is click in the address bar so it highlights the whole thing and I do control C to copy. You could always right click and copy. So I just grab that link and then in this case I just pasted it into my document. So I kept a copy of that link that I wanted to use as a source. Okay, so once I have EasyBib open and I have all my sources, I'm going to choose which type, which I already said this is a website, so I click on website. Now, I'm going to grab the URLs, the web addresses, and paste those into the search bar and click search. So I just copy and paste here and click search. And then you should get search results. If it says there's no results returned, you may have to um, reevaluate your source. Sometimes uh, PDF links don't work when you're searching um, on EasyBib. Okay, but this one worked. There's my source, so I click Select. And here you can see that EasyBib automatically pulls all the information from my website. So here's the website, there's the publisher, when it was accessed, and the URL. So instant and easy. And once again, you can choose MLA, APA, or Chicago style. Okay, I have a couple more sources to add, so I'm just going to do the same thing. Copy and paste, search, select. Okay, last one here. Copy, paste, search, and then select. Okay, so if you look here, it has um, automatically alphabetized our sources. So I put this one in last, but you can see that it has listed it as the second source because of the way that the uh, 
the information as cited. So it's automatically given me all the information I need for bibliography. So to add my works cited or my bibliography page, all I have to do is click the red button, add to doc. When I do that, it's going to insert that bibliography wherever my cursor was or towards the end of my document. So uh, I think it needs to be on a new page. So in order to do that, all I have to do is click before works, click on insert and put in a page break so it will bump it down to a new page. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. EasyBib has automatically typed up my bibliography for me. So if I wanted to change the title, I could highlight and rename that and we're done. So try it out.